You know, I'm sure most of you out there are already aware of these sit-ins and filibusters that the Democrats are doing to force votes on gun control. And you might be asking yourself, why are they doing this now? They didn't even do this after Newtown. Well, the reason is they learned their lessons from Newtown. They learned that anger and fear fade pretty quickly and are replaced by reason. And they don't want that to happen because they can't manipulate reasonable people like they can't angry and afraid people. They've learned they have to strike while the iron is hot, while people still aren't thinking clearly. Because once they start thinking again, once they start educating themselves and paying attention to what's going on, they can't be manipulated as easily. Now they try to pretend it's the will of the people. The polls show people want this. Well, yeah, a bunch of angry, frightened people who are asked leading questions seem to agree with you. Like when you say, should a terrorist be allowed to buy a gun? And people say, no, terrorists shouldn't be allowed to buy guns. But the reality is, terrorists already can't buy guns. Terrorists are foreign nationals that have threatened the United States or people in the United States that have been charged with or convicted of a terrorist act. Those people already can't buy a gun. That's already the reality. What you want to do is deny people the right to buy a gun based on suspicion alone. No one would go for it if you phrased it that way. Just like when you ask questions about closing the background check loophole. You put questions out there like, do you think we should change the loophole that allows people to buy guns from retailers on the internet without a background check? And people say, uh, yeah, we should change that. People shouldn't be allowed to buy a gun from a retailer on the internet with no background check. But the reality is, that's already against the law. That's already something people can't do. That's basically just a lie that you're propagating to get something you want. You want to slide a bunch of other things in there and make people think that they're stopping something that isn't really happening. This is just simple manipulation of people while they're at their most vulnerable to give them what they want. And what they want isn't just gun control, it's total control. They want the government to control everything you do and when you do it. And the no-fly, no-buy list is a perfect example of this. This isn't about stopping anyone from buying a gun. It's about setting a precedent that the government can deny you your constitutional protections without due process. It's about saying that the government can keep a secret list that requires no due process, no validation, no recourse. They can keep a secret list and they can use that list to deny you a constitutional right. And if you think that's only going to affect Second Amendment rights, you're crazy. These types of rulings, these type of precedences do not exist in a bubble. They affect all your rights. If they can strip one of your rights without due process, that means they can strip any of your rights without due process. And another reason that the Democrats are playing politics right now and want to do it right away is because it's an election season. And they want to be able to run election ads that say, look at this politician over here. They voted against taking guns away from terrorists. When in reality, that's not what they voted against. They voted against violating your constitutional rights without due process. And I'm hoping that comes back and bites them in the ass. I'm hoping by the time people are voting, reason has won out. And instead of them running those ads, other politicians are being able to run ads that say, look at these politicians that voted to remove your constitutional protections without you having due process and you having no recourse to do anything about it. Because in my opinion, those people that did vote for that should not only not be reelected, they should never be allowed to hold any public office ever again. They should be pariahs, if not charged with treason. They violated every oath they took to uphold the Constitution of the United States when they took their office. They also violated the oath to protect and to serve the people that elected them. These people are criminals. They're traitors. If you want to know exactly who these people are, just look at Feinstein's bill that was voted on on Monday. Anyone that voted to support this bill voted to strip you of your rights with no due process. Those are the enemies. Those are the people that should never be reelected again. I have never been a single issue voter. I will never be a single issue voter. I believe in being a big picture voter. I voted for people that are against gun rights simply because I agree with them on everything else. But this isn't a single issue. This is a principle. This is people that have shown that they are willing to violate your rights, to not serve you, but to serve their interests. And if you ask me, any politician that's willing to do that is far more dangerous to this country and the things we believe in than any terrorist, foreign or domestic, with any type of gun.